Lately, I've been on a mission to tackle my ever-growing backlog of single-player games, and playing these games is always a refreshing change of pace from my usual gotcha game grind. There's something incredibly satisfying about diving into well-crafted stories and not having to worry about RNGs, drops, or dailies. Among the games on my list was Ghost of Tsushima, a title I had heard so much about when it came out but never actually played to completion until now. So I finally decided to dust off my PS4 copy of Ghost of Tsushima and gave it a go. Finishing this game was both a relief and a joy to me as I mentioned earlier as it is a part of my ongoing quest to clear out my backlogs and let me tell you, it was worth every moment. However, my experience was somewhat bittersweet due to some frustrating hurdles thrown my way by Sony. As a PC gamer, I really wanted to play this on PC on Steam, but I can't. See, I live in the Philippines in Southeast Asia, and living in the Philippines has recently thrown some challenges when it comes to gaming, specifically Sony games. One major gripe I have right now is with Sony and their PlayStation Network policies, specifically the fact that they won't sell Ghost of Tsushima on Steam to my country. It's pretty infuriating. It feels like we're a bit left out and it's a huge disappointment for many Filipino gamers who prefer using Steam for its accessibility and convenience. This isn't even limited to Ghost of Tsushima, all the major titles such as you know God of War Ragnarok and the new Horizon Zero game, um, they're, all, they're all locked out. And if you're trying to buy Helldivers 2, it's the same story as well. Despite these issues, I decided to just play the PS4 version of Ghost of Tsushima on my PS5. That's the version that I've got. And I'm just rolling with it, and I've decided to stick with the base game and not purchase any DLC from Sony Store. I don't have any digital stuff on my Sony Store, I just have physical discs. It's my way of sort of making a stand, however small against their restrictive practices. Even without the DLC, the base game is still an incredible experience. It's a testament to the game's quality that even the vanilla version is enough to keep me thoroughly entertained and engaged for hours on end. Now on to the game itself. Ghost of Tsushima is an absolute masterpiece in my opinion. The visuals are stunning, capturing a very unrealistic but highly stylized and somewhat poetic beauty of Tsushima Island. The landscapes and the strong wind rustling through the leaves makes the game look like a living painting of sorts. And you can really see the influence of Japanese art and cinema, especially the works of Akira Kurosawa. Heck, there's literally a Kurosawa mode in the game. The gameplay is where this game truly shines. The combat system is incredibly fluid and satisfying, and whether you're engaging in sword fights, using stealth tactics, or going off on those standoffs, Everything feels sort of stylized, poetic, and clean. I also would like to add that the guiding wind feature is a brilliant touch in this game, making exploration feel really organic and immersive. Instead of following a map marker, you follow the wind, which makes the experience feel more natural and connected to the world. I wish more games would follow this type of exploration. Elden Ring did make kind of a similar mechanic with the Sights of Grace with the light pointing into a specific direction, but using the wind pointed direction, um, it's a really simple concept, but I think it's absolutely genius. Customization options are not a lot, but they are on point as well. Different armor sets, charms, and abilities let you play the game your way. Whether you want to go full samurai or embrace the stealthy ghost approach, the game supports your choices and lets you tailor your playstyle. I personally went full dishonor and I was playing a ninja after all, so I was using every dirty tactic I had from knives, smokes, especially fell in love with the poisoned wind chime playstyle. The story is also very compelling, following Jin Sakai's transformation from a samurai to the ghost. In my opinion, the character development is pretty deep and thoughtful, with Jin grappling with his honor and the need to protect his homeland. I'm not Japanese, but the game feels very authentic to me. The game draws from real events with the Mongol invasion after all, so it's sort of like a love letter to Japanese history and culture. And despite being an outsider myself in terms of cultural relevance, I very much appreciated the direction that it took. The soundtrack and voice acting, in my opinion, is also very top-notch. The music, most notable the intro when the title shows up at the beginning and the ending final duel is just... Mwah. Chef's kiss. Uh, the voice acting in English is surprisingly really well done. Usually natively Japanese voice games and JRPGs tend to have a cringiness to their English dialogue, but I didn't get that much in this game. Overall, despite my frustrations with Sony, Ghost of Tsushima is a phenomenal game. The compelling narrative, stunning visuals, engaging gameplay makes it a masterpiece in my book. Plus, the replay value is very high with all the side quests, collectibles, and the added multiplayer mode. 
There's also a new game plus system, so if you want to max out all your upgrades and explore different armors and playstyles, you can do that. So to wrap things up, if you haven't played it, you definitely should. If you live in any of the 170 countries that Sony decided to block, maybe you should look into other options. Wink wink. It's an epic game that hits all the right notes. It's a testament to the power of video games as a medium for storytelling and cultural exploration. Whether you're a hardcore gamer like me, or just someone who appreciates a great story, I think you play. You gotta play this game, even if you have to jump through a few hoops to get there. All right, that's all for today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe. You know the deal. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye.